Do you want to learn how to play Delicate by Taylor Swift? In this video, I give a few tips on how you can learn this song. Hi, my name is Liz from Cellomoji.com and I help you to play the cello for all those moments in your life. On this channel, I give tips and tutorials on how to play the cello, so if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you won't miss out on any other Cellomoji videos. So let's dive in. I've left a link in the description box below uh, to the sheet music to this song uh, so that you yourself can play this at home. I always write out these parts so that you can play along with the actual recording um, that is found on the artist's album. In this case, it's off of Taylor Swift's Reputation album. So be sure to always support the artist and buy her album, download the track. I'm sure if you're a Taylor Swift fan, you probably already have this album. But I always encourage you to make sure that you are trying to support the artist as best as you can. So the first thing that would be really helpful is to be comfortable with the C major and G major scales because uh, here in this version of the song there are no sharps or flats in it so it would be helpful for you to be comfortable with the C major scale. Uh, I throw in G major because if you go up to the second octave, here's the high G up here. <laughs> And then in this version of how I wrote out the song, there's actually a high A as well. So a second tip for you would be to be comfortable playing the high harmonic A up here. Now, if you're not sure how to play harmonic A, what I usually tell people is try to feel your thumb in the curve of the neck and you're extending out your third finger in order to find that harmonic A. Harmonic A's are... Uh, fairly easy to find. So as you're playing the harmonic A, or any harmonic note for that matter, if it is kind of difficult for it to get a good tone out of your instrument, it usually means that your finger is not quite in the right spot. So it'll sound like it, it's like you really have to push your bow to make a good sound. Then try moving your finger around until it just sort of almost pops out of your instrument. Then you'll know you're in the right spot. Always remember with harmonics that you're actually not pushing down the string, but you are putting your finger on the string and making sure that your bow also has good contact with the string as well. So my third tip for you would be, in the beginning of this song, it might help you to start on a 1 on the C. Because there's a high E here, and with the quick changes of the notes, it might be kind of difficult to shift to the E. Um, but it's really up to you. I kind of leave it up to you in terms of fingering wise what might be easy for you. Along that line, my next tip for you is really be comfortable with finding this E up here. So this E on the A string, you can find it with many different fingers. And in fact, it would be really good practice in general just to practice finding this E with different fingers. So you can even practice playing the E and then shifting with another finger and playing the same note. And then doing, going through all of the fingers, going up and down and feeling really comfortable. Ideally, you want to kind of almost find the E out of the blue. You just put your hand down and then you put it up and you're able to find it in one shot. Because this note is really common in this song, but more than that, it's really common in general. Uh, in a lot of different songs, pop songs, classical music songs, rock songs, to be able to find this E. So it is really good practice for you just to get comfortable finding it with different fingers in one shot. Here's an extra challenge tip for you. In this, there's a lot of open A's as well, um, but if you are feeling up to the challenge, try to play these A's with a fingered A. So the reason why I say this is because if you're starting in position, you can totally do open A, but it might be interesting for you to do 4 on the A because the A is directly across from the E, so you're already there in the position anyways. So again, it is good practice and a good challenge for you to try to find the A with a finger instead of using the open string. Okay, in the sheet music from measure 65 to 72, I want to just remind everybody that there you're going to see a bracket with the number 3 
but the three does not represent a finger number. Remember that when you see the bracket and the three there, it represents a triplet. And it's really important that you really distinguish that for yourself because a lot of times editors and publishers, when they put it in music, they don't actually change fonts or anything. So sometimes it's hard to tell the difference and it's easy to get them confused. Uh, the next tip I have for you is the triplets that you have in this song. If you're not feeling up to the task of playing a more advanced position up high, you can always bring those triplets down one octave. So the triplets start on the G, but just bring it down to first position G right here. Right? So when it's down there, then it's nice and easy. You don't even have to worry about going up super high. So I encourage you to don't let the high position scare you. Definitely give it a try, but if you're feeling not up to the task and you just want to enjoy the song, then just bring it down an octave. In the song itself, she actually kind of has a little bit of an overdub, so you can actually hear the higher octave, but there's something underneath where the lower octave is coming out as well. So those are my tips for this song, Delicate by Taylor Swift. If there are any questions that I haven't answered, be sure to leave them in the comment box below. Again, I left a link to the sheet music below and you can click on it and download it for yourself. Remember, it is meant to be played with the song off of her Reputation album, so I hope that you go out and support the artist and enjoy playing this song. If you would like to see more Taylor Swift songs or tutorials, be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave in the comment box below uh, songs that you would like to see. I'm always looking for new suggestions. Consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll be notified of new Chill Emoji videos coming out. And thanks again for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!